The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Go to the shards. What's the shard? Find it. It's the metal room stones. It's in front of you. Find it. The metal. There is it. Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. There's the shard. Focus. 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 Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Herver, the daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. for the trials, like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. Just wait there. I'll find you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He's just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she find him?
It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another think, way. Think, 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 focus. Think. Use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. You let him slip through your fingers once again. Think, think clearly. You have to find, find another way. There another has way. to be another way. Herva disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through. Don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You know where you are. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen. Dillian, where Listen are you? Listen for his voice. Dillian, does everything look the same? It all looks the same. Something's different. Look for clues. What is it? What's different? There's a clue. <gasps> I can hear him. Within the burial mine. Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> it's not him. It's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick.
wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you. No. They will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! It's done. You did it, but there's more. Keep going. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. It's not going to be easy. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chain. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. This place... There he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. Find him. Don't let him disappear this time. He's going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. Be careful. <laughs> How do you find him? It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. 
Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. You can't get to the house until the bridge is fixed. You must. Now you have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. The Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death. You found a way. To climb the tower. The ladder. Quick. What now? You can see it. Aligned to the truth. The bridge. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. Focus on the runes. Dillian! They're coming for me! Trying to save you. 
it is. Huh? It's close. It's close. Move away. Senua, move away. I feel it. You'll die. You'll die. The burn is done. Run! Run now! Ah! Run! It's not safe here. Run! You came through the wrong door. How are you going to fight? Where's your sword? Are you going to defend yourself? They're coming for me! You can't defend yourself. Where are we? It's not safe. I feel unsafe. Where is it? I'm not safe. You're dying. You're lost. You're dying. This is what death feels like. Shano! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make no truth. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What does this have to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be wrong. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs>
I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. 
Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. You always let him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The world once seemed so simple. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? He's gone. He's I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. She should have listened to her father. Why didn't she listen to her She thought she could do it. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. The curse cannot be undone. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. 
She's put years nectar. had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Nobody will love her now. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens to the thing she likes. She destroys Zinbel. I guess he took after his father. 
A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. Very and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. And had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Yes. Go to him. Go to him. That's it. Quicker. 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 You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. Down. She's, she's not is. going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Senwa. Oh, no! Where's he gone? It's your fault. He's disappeared. You've lost him to the sea. He's gone. You've lost him to the water. He's gone to the water. He's drowned. Senwa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Could you give up the beautiful world? You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you paid for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're and disappearing you. one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. You think they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind. And they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. The Northmen say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. So quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it. 
rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. I've reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Senor. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind. Not the sword. You're no coward. You proved that to me in the warrior trials. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. Water. I can't go on this way. Then look for another way, and 
Tell me what you find. inside don't be afraid Not following me. Leave it behind. There's more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. Listen to the sound of your breath. In and out. In and out. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control.
as well. Don't turn back. Getting close. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. the strength to pass the warrior trials and she saw a way out to leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. Years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Dillian? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. You brought this plague to us. You have blood on 